Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about wardrobe essentials. Now, I made a video all about my own personal essentials years ago when I first started this channel, but I've since upgraded my equipment and I have a new way of thinking about them that might be beneficial to some of you. So I'm reshooting that video today and I'm going to go over kind of a three-step process that I've really worked on over the last couple years that's been really beneficial to me. It's changed how I look at wardrobe essentials and it doesn't have a set number attached to it. Instead, it's a mentality. So this won't be a top five wardrobe essentials, top 10 wardrobe essentials, et cetera, et cetera. But instead, we're gonna go over three basic categories that I think you should aim for in order to have wardrobe that works for you, your personal lifestyle and your tastes. So let's hop right in. So let's start off with what are wardrobe essentials? Now in the strictest sense, wardrobe essential is a building block to your wardrobe. These are the foundational pieces that really allow you to build on top of them for great style. So they're often utilitarian and very functional. They're not really very glamorous and they're ten they tend to be things like a white shirt, a great pair of pants, a black skirt, etc, etc. But I've changed how I look at them a little bit. And instead of viewing them as individual pieces, I'm viewing them as categories. So those categories are year-round basics, then we have seasonal items, and then accent pieces. So starting with year-round basics, I have items in this category that I can wear all year long. These are things that can be mixed and matched with seasonal pieces and accent pieces to really lend themselves nicely to my personal style. These are gonna look a little bit different for everybody, but these are things that you find yourself reaching for every single day. They're things that you wear at least once a week and in some form or variation all year long. So these are the things that you cannot live without. When you think of your wardrobe, they're some of the first things that come to mind and your wardrobe just wouldn't feel complete without them. So for me personally, my year-round basics are a white shirt in two variations. I like a very structured cotton version and then a looser, more billowy silk version. And then also t-shirts. I like them to be three quarter or short sleeve and I like them in black, white, and stripes. <laughs> and then also a great pair of black pants. My preference is to have these in a really lightweight wool that I can wear with a lot of layers in the winter and fall and then with very light layers in the spring and summer. Something that's nice and structured and tailored but also has a slightly loose straight leg style. In this category I also have a black skirt. I really love an A-line style, a pencil style, and a new silhouette that I'm working with is a longer more billowy kind of almost to the knee or slightly past it silhouette. I think it's very elegant and it's something that I've really been enjoying lately. So it's definitely become a year round piece for me because I can wear it with sandals and espadrilles in the spring and summer and then with flats and ankle boots and tall boots in the fall and winter. And then classic jeans. I like these in both a medium and a dark wash. I like having the two options in my wardrobe because I wear them interchangeably depending on my mood and the general look that I'm going for. If I want something a little bit more structured and anchored, then I'll go for the dark wash. And if I want something more relaxed and more down to earth, I'll go for the lighter slash medium wash. And I find that those two are perfect for me. So now moving on to seasonal essentials. These are, as the name suggests, the seasonal pieces that you need to make the other pieces work all year long. So these are gonna, again, differ depending on where you live because some of us experience all four seasons, some of us experience one season and every variation in between. So definitely customize this for you. That said, to give you some ideas for the things that might be included in this category, I'm gonna go over some of my own personal seasonal essentials. So first on this list for me has to be sweaters. I really love sweaters and I would wear them all year long if I could, but it gets way too hot down here in the summer, but I still have quite a few in my wardrobe. I just did a video all about sweaters. I'll link it somewhere here for you but I have them in various weights and silhouettes and it's something that I really, really enjoy wearing and I look forward to wearing when it starts to get cooler. And then also on this list, I have a raincoat. 
right now. My barber is enough to get me through my needs. I um, love it because it keeps me warm, but also really dry. And I would love to add a trench coat somewhere down the line, but for now, this is good. And then the next thing on this list for me is shorts. Now, I really love shorts. It's something that's a really important part of my personal style, especially because I live somewhere that's very, very hot. But don't feel like you have to have shorts on your list if you're not comfortable wearing them. Again, customize this to you and find something that you're gonna enjoy wearing and something that you're gonna look forward to wearing as the seasons start to change. And you can really start incorporating the things that are season specific that really get you jazzed for spring and summer and fall and winter or whatever seasons you experience. And for me, shorts are one of those things. And then the last category on this list is accent pieces. These are the things that are really going to allow your personal style to shine. These are going to be totally individual and they're things that are going to be cornerstones to what makes you you. So when you wear them, people go, oh, of course she's wearing that. That's so her. That's definitely part of her style. And for me personally, the first on this list has to be silk scarves. I love them in every variation and I have quite a few that I've collected over the years and I hope to continue to collect. For me, they're definitely um, a key part of my personal style and they're something that I wear in different variations all year long. So I style them different depending on the season. I actually have a video coming up all about silk scarves and scarves in general really and how I wear them um, in spring. It's gonna be a recurring uh, series for the rest of this year. I'll share my spring um, ideas, my favorite spring scarves and then summer, fall and then winter. But yeah, it's just something that I really enjoy. I think that they're so lovely. And for me, it's definitely part of my personal style that shines through if you know me at all and you see me wearing any of my outfits. And then next in this category is jewelry. And I've broken it into two subcategories for myself. And that is classic everyday jewelry and then statement jewelry. So I touched on my preference for statement jewelry in my one of my last videos. I'll link it somewhere here for you. But I really like things that make a statement but still feel really natural. And for my everyday pieces, I have things that are personalized and customized and really speak to my love for antique pieces and things that have kind of a story to them. So in this category is definitely my signet ring and then my personalized necklace. I'm building that collection slowly for other pieces as well. And things that just really feel like home to me. So when people see me wearing them, they know that that's something that's been hand selected for me personally. It's a key part to my style and it's something that I really enjoy. But for you, your signature accent piece might be a great pair of shoes. Maybe you really love great pumps, then build that for yourself and definitely start focusing on that as a key accent part of your wardrobe and allow it to contribute to the other two categories to really round out your style and really allow you to build something for yourself that you can wear comfortably for many years and also feel like yourself in. So you're not conforming to anything that people have told you. You're not sticking to some strict list that has been um, handed down to you and something that's been said, every woman needs these things in her wardrobe, but instead you're personalizing it to yourself and really helping to express yourself to the world. And I just think it's so fun. I really enjoy it. And um, I think that it's a really nice part of just taking the time for yourself and kind of reflecting on who you are and really allowing that to shine. And there you have it. That is my updated way of looking at wardrobe essentials and the three main categories that I break them into. I really hope that you found this helpful and maybe it was the shift in thinking that you needed to really help you focus your attention where it should be in your wardrobe. And I would love to know in the comments down below what some of these essentials look like for you. Are you someone that loves a white shirt? Are you someone that hates a white shirt? <laughs> Definitely let me know. Let's start a conversation in the comments. I look forward to reading all of your comments and even though it's becoming much more difficult to respond to everybody because it takes quite a bit of time. Know that I do take the time out of my day to read through them and I look forward to reading all of your contributions and it's something that really helps build the enjoyment for me around this channel. I really like connecting with all of you on a small or large level and it just helps humanize the whole experience for me. So please don't ever hesitate to leave a comment down below and like always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day!